days now and I've uh, been traveling around Colorado testing it out and so we just thought we'd make a quick video uh, to capture some of the features of this uh, adventure vehicle. So up front it's got a nice beefy uh, bumper with a built-in winch. Um, got the winch controller remote um, so you can control that um, without having to be right wired in. Um, and we're just going to come, come on and take you around the vehicle. It has been raining and snowing a little bit, so it, it did get a little bit muddy. Got a nice set of tires on this thing. Um, the Tiger is mounted right onto the truck, so they take the bed off and mount it right onto the truck. And that allows you to pass right through from the cab to the truck. Over here you've got your utilities, so access to the fridge the heater you've got um, plug-in if you were going to plug into shore power but why would you stay at a koa with, when you have a vehicle like this um, water water and all that sort of stuff um, this rig does have two awnings on it so it's nice to be able to fold out one or the other depending on the camp you end up in come on over to the back theme of the beefy bumper is uh, continued on the back so the luminous bumper on the back full size spare tire uh, box with a few tools in it got the trash -roo on there to carry your trash um, back here in this compartment is a actual uh, generator um, we haven't used that because the solar has been plenty uh, if you look up towards the top here you've got a wee boost antenna for a cell phone booster uh, it's a rear backup camera which comes in handy since you can't uh, see out the back window and then up top uh, also has 400 watt solar panels so 400 watts of solar with this thing uh, it's got two lithium batteries in it uh, we got down to about 65 percent this morning um, so power has been holding up just fine uh, it does have outside lighting on all three sides um, so if you end up hanging out on the back side or this side you've got the uh, rear and side white lighting and then on the, this other side we're going to be going coming around to has got an orange light on it. Um, so we've got the awning out on this side, give you a feel for what that looks like. Uh, the Fiamma awning uh, and they've got the mounts built into the side here so that's kind of handy um, to uh, really get it propped up there properly. Uh, another thing uh, if you'll come around so you've got some utility storage here um, and then there's an actual external propane line so uh, it doesn't come with it for this rental but uh, what we'd probably be doing is hooking up a grill and uh, right to that propane line and, and you got your propane already plumbed in right there so um, fold down steps really like this you know full-size door uh, comes with a gas strut so it just holds it open by default and then of course you got the screen door uh, if you want that just going to show you through the back seat here so this is a double cab truck uh, the seats in the rear have been removed and replaced with this platform here um, and you've got some spots for storage underneath over here you've got a shore power plug on the other side is a hose for refilling uh, the water um, and that does pass through uh, all the way through to the the back we've got a little curtain on it but uh, you can easily remove that and get right in or pass uh, supplies back and forth um, so that's and it ended up pretty handy as far as uh, places to store things out of the way of the main um, cab here. So we're going to take you inside next. Inside, starting out here, uh, you do have a uh, stereo system with two speakers inside. Um, and uh, hooks up to Bluetooth, so that's been kind of handy. You've got a couple shelves here, you know, your regular CO2 and smoke detectors, that sort of thing. Um, you've got hot water heater here. Uh, these are the two switches for the lights outside and then a uh, thermostat for your furnace. Um, it's got a really comfortable seating area here. So an L-shaped seat 
um, the, the seats are really comfortable and then it's got the lagoon table with the arms that make this kind of infinitely adjustable so not only does it turn 360 but it also slides in or out so it's full rotation all the way around and uh, so that's been kind of handy to have flexibility in setting up that table uh, it does also slide off of there and then this would turn into a couch so or, uh, or from a couch to a bed so that's uh, handy if you need an extra sleeping area there uh, the lights are all throughout the, the cabin here there's four different double sets of lights so it's not lacking in light at all um, and also the windows open up um, you've got shades for each of the windows to pull down so that's kind of nice um, yeah all these cabinets here are are uh, just open storage space uh, they all have the uh, locking so like you can lock those and if you're driving down the road they're not swinging open um, lots of room up here so um, yeah quite a few cabinets there's five five different cabinet doors right there you do have if you're hooked into shore power an air conditioner or heater here uh, we obviously haven't used that but that's that's built into the thing uh, it does have a full wet bath um, so it's got uh, a uh, toilet, a shower, and a sink, uh, and all the water just drains right out the floor there. So uh, it's got a little uh, vanity there. So it's got uh, behind that mirror, you can pull that out, and it's got uh, a couple little shelves there. So got a fan in the ceiling. Um, so get a little ventilation going there, and uh, that's the wet bath. Um, okay, so moving around here, you've got kind of a, what this has been set up for at least is a, a pantry. Um, so we've got our food supplies, pots and pans, that sort of stuff all put away in here. Um, it's got two more drawers down there, just pull out drawers, another cabinet up here. Um, it does have a microwave. Uh, apparently you have to fire up the generator to run the microwave, but we are... Uh, haven't tried that out don't really need it um, but anyway it is here built in um, you've got all your um, controls and readouts so the solar panels sitting at 100 percent right now um, we're here in the afternoon like i say in the mornings it's been getting down to um, the first morning it was only down to like 93 percent the second morning 63 percent uh, because we did run the heater last night uh, and that fan pulls a little bit of uh, power. Uh, you've got your levels for all your tanks. So it does have, uh, I believe it's like a 30 gallon water tank. And then it's got a gray and a black tank uh, here. It's got the built in propane as well. Um, so the tank is uh, outside underneath uh, the chassis here. Um, and then you've got tank heaters. So you can turn on your fresh water and your uh, gray and black water heaters so that those don't freeze up which we'll be turning on tonight it's supposed to get down to 21 so you got a three burner stove and a sink here um, so uh, that's all good to go um, and then a couple more cabinets up above here um, this is the uh, furnace right here uh, this is the fuse box here uh, this would be where you turn uh, power over to either generator shore power or neither one uh, it's got kind of a handy cutting board here, so that gives you either more counter space or room to slice and dice. And then, of course, the uh, fridge right here uh, runs really cold. We had to turn it down a notch because uh, our vegetables were starting to freeze over. So um, it does come with that um, cell phone extender here. And then there's lots of plugs around. So there's plugs here and here. Back in the other corner, there's plugs. There's also some 12-volt plugs. Um, so if you've got uh, power needs with that, it's also got some USB plugs. So lots of power options here. Um, then moving around to the bed area here, it does have a TV. Um, and that does uh, swing out to a variety of um, positions. We haven't actually run the TV. Um, we're camping. So uh, haven't been worried about running the TV. But it's there. 
uh, all wired in, ready to go. And then the bed area here, um, it's been plenty for the two of us. Uh, lots of room here, fairly comfortable bed. It's actually got that Froley uh, springs on the bottom there. So uh, that's kind of an interesting system. To, it's kind of works at what I would liken it to is like a box spring. Uh, so you've got your ladder here. We've just been keeping it up on the bed, but when it's ready, you're ready to climb up there. You've got the ladder handy right there. Um, you got a couple fans up there, and then you've also got a, a ceiling fan, a fantastic fan, so you can pull air out or push it in either way. A couple more 12 volt uh, plug-ins up there and a little counter area, I guess, to keep odds and ends if you want them handy at night. Um, so that's kind of our tour of the uh, the Tiger here. Uh, it is mounted on a Dodge. Um, the company that builds these can mount them on a uh, Chevy or a Ford as well. So it's really up to you uh, to pick out your truck. And then I'm sure there's lots of other bells and whistles you can either take off or add on. Um, but that's what this one comes with. It's been pretty fun three days here trying this out. Uh, we're really impressed with it. Lots of room inside um, to hang out when uh, it's been getting dark. You know, it's October, so uh, it gets dark pretty early. And it's been, uh, at least last night, was rainy. So it was nice to uh, just sit in here and uh, hang out and cook dinner. So uh, that's our little review of the features of the Tiger. Hope you enjoy it.